everyone welcome back good morning um, so if you haven't figured out yet my real talk series um, any videos that have real talk followed by something else um, those are my videos about my own personal life and my personal journey so if you really like those videos just uh, keep a lookout for the real talk headline and then you can kind of skip over my other videos although I hope you don't skip over my other videos um, I hope you watch all of them, but I know hearing about other people's lives is particularly interesting. So um, those are my Real Talk videos. So uh, Real Talk today is going to be about church shopping. And um, my experience looking for a church home is a little bit different than other people's, but um, I really felt the Lord calling me to share it and kind of let you all know what that looked like for me. Um, so... Um, first off, when I decided to start going back to church, we were living in Virginia about two years ago, and I uh, really wanted to start going to church, and um, so I googled it, and it's impossible to find a church by googling. I mean, some of you may have done it, but it was impossible for me because there are so many churches everywhere that it was hard to narrow down one that was going to be my church, you know, and it's really stressful looking at all the options and looking ahead and being like, oh my gosh, I'm going to spend a year just looking for a church before I even get planted in one and can start, um, you know, building relationships and getting more involved. And so it's kind of overwhelming when you first set out to do it. Um, but I was fortunate enough that um, my husband was actually given a like business card for the church that I ended up going to in D.C., um, called DC Metro. It's in Alexandria, Virginia, technically not in DC. Um, but I saw the business card sitting on the table and I was like, what is this? And he was like, oh yeah, some guy gave them to me and I thought you might be interested because you're looking for a church. And I was like, okay. And the business card was like bright and colorful and it just looked really appealing. And so I went the next Sunday and um, that church and that Sunday, that first Sunday is when I recommitted my life to the Lord. And I started making changes in my life to reflect that recommitment. Um, and that church uh, is just so special. It will always hold a special place in my heart because it's the church where I reconnected with the Lord. It's the church um, that really set me on fire again. And DC Metro, for any of you who may be watching and live around Alexandria, Virginia, and don't already go to DC Metro, you need to check it out. Um, that church is just on fire for the Lord, and they're just taking back the DC Metro area um, for the Lord and for His kingdom. And so, um, so I went there for a year, um, and then uh, when I heard the Lord calling us back to Des Moines, I started Googling churches here which, you know, as before, was kind of stressful. And so I started doing that, and um, there were a few that sounded interesting. I'm totally about contemporary um, services, contemporary music, and just I just connect better with contemporary music and contemporary um, services. And DC Metro is a non-denominational church, and I also like that. It's not too formal. It's really kind of loose in what they do, and, and I really enjoy that. And, so um, that's what I was looking for when we moved back to Des Moines. So I started Googling churches while we were still living in D.C. And um, there was one particular church that stuck out to me. And it's the only one. I could remember two names, two of the church names that I looked at because I looked at so many. And one of them um, was Valley Church. And so I, um, I just kept kind of being reminded of Valley Church throughout different days and throughout different, you know, throughout the weeks and stuff. And so I felt pretty confident that the Lord was calling me to Valley Church. Um, so we moved back here and I went to my first service right away the first Sunday we were here and I was utterly disappointed. I was just like, this is in DC Metro. Essentially, I missed my old church and um, it was really, really hard for me to go to a different church because DC Metro does hold such a special place in my life and in my heart and it's the place where I came back to the Lord and where I really started getting involved in church again and um, and so I was discussing this with my mom about how Valley Church just didn't feel like a fit, like it didn't, it wasn't the same thing, it wasn't the same church, obviously, there's no two same churches and she was like, well, 
DC Metro is a very special church and um, you know it holds a very special place for you so it might be hard to go to any other church and um, I definitely think she was right it was a hard transition from that church to any kind of other church because I loved DC Metro so much um, that it would be hard to transition to any other church um, but because I felt the Lord calling me so strongly to Valley Church I kept going week after week and sometimes I felt like crying I'm not gonna lie because we'd sing a song that we sang at DC Metro or something like that and then I'd be wondering what the service was at DC Metro and I made a rule for myself that I was not going to um, watch any sermons from DC Metro or or anything like that I was kind of gonna cut contact not fully I like the I like DC Metro on Facebook and I like the pastor on Facebook but um, I was kind of going to cut myself off so that I could give myself time to enjoy this new church and to get used to this new church. And um, that was in May when I started going, so it's now January, and now I love the church I'm at. Um, it's very, very different from my old church. My old church, DC Metro, was seven years old, so it's still a relatively new church, and um, they were still kind of finding their way in some things. Um, Whereas my church now is 25 years old. They celebrated their 25th anniversary this past year. Um, so they're pr pretty established in what they do and how they do things. And um, and it's more like the church I grew up in at home. It's an evangelical free church, and that's actually what I grew up in. Um, so it's got Awana, which is the Wednesday night activity for young kiddos. It's got a lot of focus on missionaries and um, global opportunities. and. Um, that kind of stuff and so it's just really great it's almost like coming home now um, to Valley Church because it's what I grew up with so it's a familiar setting and the more I got plugged into this church and got to know people and I'm involved in a few um, different ministries and like women's groups and stuff um, the more I've really um, grown to love it and um, I can appreciate its differences from DC Metro rather than seeing those differences as a, as a negative I see how they're uh, good and positive, and um, I still love DC Metro, and I always will, and I hope to go back to DC someday and go back to DC Metro, um, but I'm really happy to be where I am, and it, if it wasn't for the Lord speaking to me so clearly about Valley Church, I probably would have gone that first Sunday and just written it off then and be like, nope. I better keep looking, you know, and uh, that would have been a huge loss, a huge, huge loss. So I know that my church shopping experience is probably a lot different than other people's. It's not really church shopping because I feel like the Lord led me to both of my churches pretty clearly and kind of saved me from that. But I have heard of people who have searched for years for a home church where they could really get planted and get plugged into the community and stuff. And so... Um, I also just hope that this encourages you that if you feel the Lord calling you somewhere and it's not immediately satisfying, that you will keep going with it. Um, because Valley Church, the first probably three months even, I was pretty against it and my mind was really against it. I was like, this is not, this is not my church. Like, this is not it. And I gave it a try and stuck with it because I knew that the Lord was calling me to that church and... Um, now I love it. So if the Lord's calling you to something, stick with it. If you feel 100% that he's calling you to something, stick with it because it will probably get better over time. And if you change your attitude and choose to be positive about a situation, um, that will go a long way too. So I kind of had to choose to set aside DC Metro and to focus on Valley Church and um, to focus on the positives at that place. So. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share that story with you all, and let's end in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. I thank you for waking us up this morning. I thank you so much, Father, that you um, have left your church here on earth for us to get plugged into, Father, for us to grow with other believers, Father, to get um, plugged into a community, Father, and to just um, to just grow in a community, Father. I just pray that you would provide a church for each and every one of us, Father, that we can just um, that we can just get involved in um, in the community at the church, Father, 
and that you would just provide those relationships for us to grow deeper with you and deeper with each other, Father. We love you so much. In your name, Lord Jesus, amen. Alrighty, that's it for my story today, everyone. I hope you have a good one. Bye.